time to talk to your type, local. No time to talk to your type, local. Those raiders strapped me with explosives. You've got to help me. Resident, according to sensors, you have arrived 202.3 years behind schedule. Please redress in your Vault Tech issued Vault suit before proceeding. If you have misplaced your suit, I am authorized to distribute a new one. Once dressed, please proceed down the stairs to the main floor so that you may enter your assigned Tranquility Lounger. Please find the nearest Tranquility Lounger and be seated.
dress in your Vault 112 suit. Remove all other articles of clothing to prevent damage to the equipment. Thank you for your cooperation. Hello there. I think you should go speak with Betty. She's waiting for you. On the playground, I think. Best to hurry up. Oh, someone new to play with. What good luck I have lately. I was just starting to get bored. Oh, we're going to have so much fun. This is Tranquility Lane. We all live here, and now so do you. Do you like games? I love to play games. I know a really fun game we can play. I knew you would. It's a really simple game. All you have to do is make Timmy Newsbum cry. He's the only other kid that lives here besides you. He's a big crybaby. You'll see. Make him cry and then come back here so we can talk some more. Good day to you. That boy is trouble, if you ask me. Pat babies him like you wouldn't believe. Acts like he's still an infant. He's never out of his parents' sight. Can you imagine what it'll be like the first time he's separated from them? I don't think so, but then I haven't really been looking for him. Sorry. I suppose I hadn't really noticed. Sorry, kiddo, but I'm not in the mood for jokes. I like it well enough, I suppose. Mabel is good company most of the time, and, well, the other neighbors are mostly very nice. Take care now. What can I do for you, sport? <laughs> Such a kidder. You're on Tranquility Lane, of course. Where else would you be? My boy Timmy? Good kid. Straight-laced, good head on his shoulders. Never been in so much as a fist fight. We're a close-knit family. Don't know what any of us would do if something happened. Nope. 
Afraid not. Don't you worry about it, though. You'll find him. Of course it is. It's America, isn't it? Sounds like you've been spending too much time with your nose in those darned comic books, sport. Have a great day. Hiya, kiddo. What's the good word? The new Spawn boy, huh? Quiet kid. Seems like his parents don't give him much wiggle room. Just between you and me, kiddo, he looks like he's what we'd have called a mama's boy back in my day. Can't say that I have, kiddo. Don't worry. I'm sure he'll turn up. Nice place. Real nice. Everyone's friendly and always happy to lend a hand. Is that so? Well, you ought to tell that to my big toe, kiddo. Hurts like the dickens since I stubbed it earlier today. Feels pretty real to me. Take care now. You, you don't belong here. You're not supposed to be here. It's not real, none of it. It needs to end. The suffering must end. We're not really here. We're not really talking. It's all made up, make believe. We're sleeping, dreaming. The dream became a nightmare. It has to end, it just has to. But we're not in charge, he is. And he doesn't want us to wake up. He calls himself Betty now, but he's still the same. He could put on a new face all he likes, but underneath he's still evil, Braun. Bastard thinks because he helped create this place, he's God here. But I know he still uses the fail-safe terminal. I know it. It's in the abandoned house. He doesn't want us going in there because he's afraid we might find it. It's the only terminal to the outside. The only way to shut the whole thing down. You've got to find it.
Hello. Hi there, I'm Jimmy. Wanna play? What? Did I do something bad? I won't want the bed again. I promise, I promise. <laughs> Hiya kiddo. What's Yay, I knew you could do it. Perhaps not the most inventive approach, but persuasion can be quite powerful. Well done. And for winning the game, you get a prize. You get to ask one question and receive an honest answer. Certainly not what I had anticipated. Simply put, you leave when I say so. This place is under my control and I dictate the terms. If I decide to let you go, you may go. An excellent question. Timmy was easy and therefore boring. I desire some real entertainment. The Rockwells are the picture of a happy marriage. Change that. Split them up without killing either of them. If you can do that, I'll have a good laugh and then we'll talk some more.
Hello. Good day to you. Well, they're just so nice, aren't they? It's good the two of them worked everything out. Oh, I, well, I'm not one to talk, but there was that fight last year. Everyone could hear them arguing. Janet thought there was something going on with Roger and Martha Simpson. He eventually convinced her it wasn't true. But I've seen the way Martha looks at him. Janet may believe him, but I sure don't. Tip? Oh, I wouldn't call it that. Just something I heard is all. Well, there's certainly never a dull moment. I think it's like any other street, really. Always something to see and always something to talk about. Take care now. Hiya, kiddo. Now, what's a kid like you want to know about that? Kind of grown-up stuff to be worried about, don't you think? Well, don't you worry your head about it. They worked out their problems a while ago. Haven't heard them fight in a long time. Have a great day! Good day. Just look with your eyes, you know. You think he really looks like that little girl? He hides things, confuses them. You have to find a way to find it. Good day. Hey there, sport. How Their marriage? Why, that's an odd sort of question. They're like anyone else, I suppose. Got their problems, but they work through them. Janet's a good woman. It's a good thing that Roger came to his senses. Bye-bye. Hello. there. It's that Martha Simpson, isn't it? I knew it. That's it. I've had enough of Roger's lies and bullshit. Good day. So, you have achieved your goal. I was hoping for something a bit more dramatic, but persuasion appears to be your strong suit. And at least you are cooperative, unlike your father. I was most disappointed when he refused to participate, yet still expected something from me. You have amused me thus far, but I still don't think you're quite in a position to be demanding anything. Still, I suppose you've earned the right to some further answers. What would you ask of me? Your father, frustrating as he was, recognized the significance of some of my previous work. He came to gather information on it. He was most pleased to be able to ask me directly, but he failed to understand how things work here. He was unwilling to compromise to do anything I asked of him. And so, our discussions ended. 
If you continue to behave and do as I ask, I may be willing to release both of you. But first, you have work to do. Ah, now that's the spirit. Let's raise the stakes. I'd like you to kill Mabel Henderson. But do put some effort into it. Make it creative. Beating her to death simply won't suffice. Of course you will. And you never know, you might enjoy it. Good day. Hiya, kiddo. Fond of her gadgets, she is. Heck, I can't count the number of times I've had to fix that newfangled robot of hers. I keep telling her to order some new parts. Motivator goes bad on that one, and she's going to have a real problem on her hands.
country! She never saw that coming. You are most resourceful, and you certainly do get results. You have exceeded my expectations. And now we come to the last task that I have for you. Succeed, and you shall be granted whatever you wish. I think you'll find that I have been quite honest with you thus far. You have no discernible reason to mistrust me. In the doghouse, out behind the abandoned home, are a mask and knife. Don the mask and become the pint-sized slasher. Use the knife to eliminate all the residents of Tranquility Lane. He is a figure of myth, born of old campfire stories. You will make him a reality. The residents will know you and they will fear you. When they have all been eliminated, return to me. Because I can, of course. I have total power here. I may do whatever I wish. And over these many years, I have found that I wish to see others suffer. Are you mad? I've been here for almost 200 years. My body is in no condition to be used for anything. And yet here in Tranquility Lane, I am as strong and youthful as I care to be. No, no, I think I'll stay here, thank you. And you, you will now do as you're told. The slasher awaits. Don't you have a few things you should be collecting? Get the knife and the mask from the dog. Good day. Hello. What you've done! You've triggered the failsafe! Ruined everything! The subjects will die and I'll be stuck here in this hell alone! You ruined everything! Everything! I can't reset it, don't you see? The failsafe disabled the security protocols! 
They're all dead! For good! All my friends... gone. Now I'm stuck here by myself. The Garden of Eden Creation Kit. It was for terraforming. For restoring the world after a nuclear disaster. Unstable technology. And ultimately boring. Why remake the old reality when instead you could create any reality you choose? He's been right here the whole time. And you were too dense to figure it out. The dog, you see. Man's best friend. But now you've taken all my friends from me. It is my greatest achievement. The best of the many simulations I've run in these 200 years. I played with the others, but they bored me. This version never grew old. It amused me over and over and over again. Isn't it obvious? You've run the failsafe, disrupted everything! I have no power over you. There's the door. Go. Yes, I'm sure he's fine. No doubt, when you leave the simulation, he'll be waiting for you. But there's no one waiting for me. My name is Stanislaus Braun. I'm a vault scientist. I created this simulation for vault but for myself as well. It was my own design, my own perfection. A better reality than any other. Far greater than my work on the deck. Run along now. Son, you've saved me. I was afraid I'd be trapped in there forever. It's so good to see you, but, but what are you doing here? Well, I'm glad you did. This certainly wasn't how I expected things to turn out. I wasn't ready for brawn, but I might have fared better. Well, I suppose it had its moments. But in the end, I much prefer having opposable thumbs. And now that I'm back, I can get back to work. I need to tell Madison what I've learned. I was right about Braun. The technology he developed is unstable, even dangerous. But it can be adapted for Project Purity. I need to return to Rivet City and talk with Madison. If we can find a Gek, we can make Project Purity work. Yes. What I've learned, Madison is sure to see that we can finally succeed where we failed so many years ago. I'd like you to come with me. I'd like you to be there when we finally open the floodgate. That's my boy. Let's hurry. Now that I know what we need, I want to get back to work as soon as possible. It started as an idea, really. Remember the Bible passage your mother loves so much? Free, clean water for everyone. What a difference it could make in the lives of everyone here in the Wastes. Over time, that idea took the form of a purifier. Not like the one in the vault, though. This one was gigantic, capable of purifying millions of gallons of water at once. We used the old Jefferson Memorial for the location, right on DC's Tidal Basin. Someday soon, I hope you'll see it work. In the year before you were born, things became difficult. There had always been something of a mutant's problem in the city, but it became worse. They attacked more frequently and more aggressively. Support for the project eroded as time went on, when we couldn't produce any significant results. Progress came to a halt, and then you were born. Your mother and I had talked about what to do when that time came, but then I... We lost her, and I had to make a decision. I chose to leave. From what I understand, things happened quickly after that. It became too dangerous for the others to stay, and so the project was abandoned. 
Dr. Lee and her team left for what became Rivet City, and Project Purity has sat waiting ever since. I understand that you have reason to question a good many things I've told you over the years, but your mother... I've never lied to you about what happened, not once. She died giving birth to you. It was a difficult time. She was so eager to meet you, to make a place for you in the world. If nothing else, please believe that she loved you very much. The vault you grew up in had its own water purification system. Clean water was never a worry. Out here, things are different. Water out here is never clean and almost always irradiated. It's barely able to sustain any kind of normal life. If we can change that, humanity has a real chance at rebuilding, starting over. Of course, son. What's on your mind? Somehow, I don't think the Overseer would agree with that. What's done is done. But if we succeed, if we can make Project Purity a reality, we can create a new life for ourselves out here. I hope that you can understand why I've done the things that I've done. The last thing I want is to lose my son. What's on your mind? All right. Be careful, my son. Is there a problem? Good to see you. Please excuse me. There is much more. I'm on duty. Make it. Yeah. Done.
Yeah, yeah, you're my hero. Don't let it go to your head. Thank you.